You are watching a clip from the Sports and Sorts podcast. All right, let's get into the AL Central. Yeah. Indians, I have them. Ha- I have them taking taking first place at ninety and seventy two. Um, mm-hmm. The Twins, I have finishing in second. I think the addition of Nelson Cruz. I think they just done a great job this off season in general, um, yeah. adding sco- all these different players that they're just they have really <laughs> made a, diff- a difference in their in their actual overall roster. Um, the White Sox, I ha- so I have the Twins eighty eight and seventy four. Uh, White Sox at eighty two and eighty. Um, mm-hmm. I, I do have them winning more games than I was originally thinking, but you know I just have a feeling that. Their young talent starting to come up. I think, you know, Moncado probably will have a little bit better of a, t- a time this year. Still going to strike yeah. out a ton, but I think his power numbers will show up. I think he's a decent – he's going to play decent in the field. Uh, yeah. And then I, – so I have them at 82 and 80. Tigers, I feel like they're going to come back this year and play a little bit better. I think Miggy's going to have a huge year, uh, possibly an MVP candidate year. Um, wow. I think he's going to – I think he's going to – I think he's going to do 30, 100, and he's going to he's gonna bat around three – 300 again he's just gonna have a huge year um he was on pace for that last year until he tore his bicep um and then i do also think jordan zimmerman's gonna come back and have a good year uh i think he's gonna come back uh he actually had some surgery done where he actually he's been in no pain this year um which is the first time in a long time for him um and if he can come back and even be three quarters of what he used to be that is a solid two or a three um, yeah. And whereas he has been pitching like a, a like a, a guy that you don't even want in your rotation, he's been pitching to like a four or five uh, ERA. And he actually started to pitch a little bit better last year um, and had stints of being the old self. I expect him to have a good year this year. Um, and the Royals, I, you know, I had them in 70 and 92. You could say 65 wins and I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think they're going to be a very good team. Yep, I'm with you. Uh, we're a little different here. I I actually have the Twins, twins um, yeah, right. winning this division. I, yeah, I could I could see that. I kind of I I kind of like their team on paper. Um, I like the top of their rotation with Barrios and Gibson and uh, you know Pineda, whatever. Neither I think he's guy. gonna be good. I think he's gonna do well this year. He's gotten even fatter. I was I watched him a little bit in preseason. Well, he's got knee issues. He's, so yeah, that's good, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, look, the Twins did add the one guy, the one guy I wanted the Yankees to get this off season. If they had gotten nobody else at all, the one guy I wanted was Marwin Gonzalez because of his versatility, and the Twins got him. And the Twins, you know, that'll be a big help for the Twins because I mean, you know, he'll he'll platoon a little bit out in left field, probably give Rosario a breather every now and then, but he will probably be at third base, I would think, actually, most of the time on this team. Um, you know, but. You know, if you kind of go around their infield, you're probably looking at, like, Gonzalez, Polanco. I'm actually expecting uh, Scope to have a bounce back year. I really oh, – I, yeah. I actually I – th- I thought that was a nice pickup. I don't pick think he's going to have like, a, a huge year, but I think he'll no, have no, a No, 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 but I, but, I, but I can't imagine him being even remotely what he was last year, which was just awful. Um, I don't love their first plate base situation. I, I think C.J. Cron is, like, their starting first baseman. But, but they got Kepler, Buxton, and Rosario in the outfield, which isn't a bad outfield. Uh, I just, I don't know. You know, I, I feel like the Indians, I mean, you have subtracted Miller from that bullpen, even though he was very, you know, unhealthy last year. Mm-hmm. But you've taken him out of that pen. Um, Carrasco is gone from that rotation, right? Didn't, uh, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. They actually Carrasco's resigned there, him. Yeah. They, they still, so actually, they still have, I mean, they still have Bauer. Um, they still have Carrasco. They have Danny Salazar, and of course, too. And, of course, you still have Kluber. They have Danny Salazar, uh, yeah, too, Salazar. Who's... But, you know, I just kind of feel like maybe it's the Twins' time. I almost feel like the Indians, despite what they have, kind of rested on their laurels a little bit this offseason. And I'm thinking, like, look, we have enough to still get by and win this division. And I just I don't know if that's true. I don't quite know if that's true anymore. So, I mean, I think it'll be very, very close. I think it's one of those ones where, depending on the schedule, uh, it could come down to the last game of the season kind of thing, mm-hmm. which we saw plenty of yeah. last year. So, I, I, that's that's really the only, um, I think, primary difference I've got. I've got Cleveland at two. Um, I do have Chicago at three. And then I've got uh, the Royals and the Tigers rounding it yeah. out. Yeah, um, yeah I... I well, the Tigers, I mean, what didn't Fulmer, Fulmer's getting, what, Tommy John? Yep. I mean, he was... Eh, the, he's not good uh, anyway. <laughs> I know he's not good, but, man, it's just like another... Yeah, but he was like one of their top two or three starters, and he's not even that good. That just... What does that tell you? Shane I, I Green's just, their I, closer. I, I, 
I mean, I'd be they're gonna if be, the they're Tigers. Gonna be awesome. If the Tigers win 60 games, I might consider that to be an accomplishment. I just I, I, they'll win over 70 games. They're wow. Over 70. I, I, I don't have them at that, but you got, you've clearly got some more faith there than I do. I do. I do. Kansas um, City's going to be bad, too, though. Yes, they are. I mean, those two, I those two are going to be terrible. bad teams. All right. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You have just watched a clip from Sports & Sorts where we go live Saturday, Saturday on YouTube. Thanks for watching.